Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to introduce you all to my convenience store business plan template. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. And then after that, what we're going to do is dive into the convenience store business plan template. Uh, specifically, what I'll do is I'll show you all the Word document, which includes the convenience store business plan template. And then I'll show you the financial model, which is the Excel file. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this little presentation that I have prepared for you all. As promised, a little bit about me. Uh, again, Paul Borowski, doctoral candidate, MBA, as well as owner of Quality Business Plan and Quality Business Consultant. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all want to avoid all the fun and excitement, trials and tribulations, growth opportunities of writing your own business plan, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, me a text, send me an email. My contact information is right here. I would be delighted to write a business plan for you. I am also a published author on Amazon.com. Check out some of my books there. They're focused on business plan writing as well as understanding financial statements. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if you do need some help with those pesky financial projections, business plans ready to go, but those numbers are keeping you up at night, I'd be delighted to do your financial projections for you. Again, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help. All right, enough about me. Let's go ahead and talk about the star of the show, which is my convenience store business plan template. Uh, specifically, my convenience store business plan template does come with a Word document as well as an Excel financial model. And for this segment, we're going to go ahead and talk about the convenience store business plan template in the Word document. And then once we're done with that, we'll dive into the model. All right, so once you open up the convenience store business plan template in Word, you're going to be greeted with your con your title page and on the title page what most of my clients are going to do is they're going to get rid of this wording right here and then what they'll do is they'll paste their company logo and then leave the wording business plan underneath the next page is going to be your table of contents once you add a little bit of meat to the bone you, if you fill it out make it yours come back to the table of contents click on it click and update the table click and update entire table click ok and then all of your titles and page numbers will update accordingly and then the next page is going to be the executive summary. And in the executive summary, I include a starting point for your convenience store summary, your target market, financial highlights, and these numbers can come from the financial model. Once you update it with your information, just update the um, yellow highlights. And then the funding request, this just tells the reader how much money you need to get this party started or to expand. Now, when you see the yellow writing or the yellow highlights, that is information that I do recommend y'all update with your information, for example, a company name and whether it's a limited liability company or not. And that's the same throughout the whole document, the Word document. Next section is going to be your company description. Again, the convenience store summary right here, products carried, and then we're going to have our competitive advantages, give you a good start with that. Primary target market, pricing strategy, give you a space for your hours of operation, location, description, and then finally this section is ended with a brief strategic plan under the business objectives and timeline. And this just is going to tell the reader where you expect to be in three months, six months, and a year. The next section is industry up um, industry analysis and I do get my industry research from IBIS world IBIS world is a leader in industry research and so I do obtain the reports summarize information and update my financial um, the industry section with that information next a next section is gonna be your SWOT analysis your strengths, your weaknesses your opportunities and threats and to update this information, just click on the smart art, click on the little arrow, and then the bulleted point areas, just put your information there. Next section is your organizational structures, broken into two components, your ownership section and your organizational chart, and just update that information accordingly. And then we have our marketing section, and typically a convenience store, they're going to they're gonna market in three general marketing channels, which is your traditional, your internet, and your social media. I give you a good start to each one of them, and just expand it as you see fit. The next section is going to be your funding request. How much money do you need to get the party started or to expand your services? The terms expected, 
and then the interest rate expected as well in a range. Final section is financial projections. In the financial model, I do provide you all with a profit and loss for year one, <clears throat> and it's broken up into monthly as well as quarterly. And then also what I provide you all with is an income statement, pro forma income statement, and the income statement is yearly for the next five years. And all this information is on the financial model, which is what we're going to be covering next. And all you do is once you update your financial model, you just copy and paste the financial statements and you paste them into the Word document and then you're ready to go. All right. So here next is going to be our financial model that is again included in the convenience store business plan template that you can purchase on my site. And on this model, it does have, it is in Microsoft Excel and it has four tabs, your information page, your projections, which is just a summary of your financial standing, profit and loss page, which is going to be your profit and loss broken down monthly as well as quarterly. And then your income statement for the, the financial pro forma income statement for the next five years annually, which is going to summarize your revenues, your expenses, and your net profits. Now, in order to update your projection tab, your profit and loss tab, and your income statement tab, you do need to change anywhere in the darker colored cells. So as you update your darker colored cells, your profit and loss statement will update accordingly, your income statement will update accordingly, and your projection summary will update as well as you change the numbers. Once you're done changing the numbers, then what you do is just, again, you just copy and paste your income statement and your profit and loss statement to the Word document, and you're ready to go. Now, some of the areas that you can update is going to be your sales. You can update your daily sales here. You can update your labor right here. This section right here allows you to go ahead and update your startup cost. Again, in any darker color cells, you can change the writing. The next section is going to be your monthly fixed cost. You can update that information right here. And then the miscellaneous information, your tax rate, you update that here. Growth rates, growth rates for your sales would be updated here annual growth rates for your expenses would be here. And then finally, your loan information, you can update some of that information here. I do provide you all with a more in-depth tutorial on my website. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. In summary, if you are interested in purchasing my business plan template, it does come with a customizable Word document as well as a basic financial model that is customized for the industry. I also provide various tutorials. You can find my tutorials on this link right here. The tutorials just help you with the various aspects of the business plan template, completing them, and those tutorials can be accessed before or after you purchase the business plan template. Keep in mind, there are some limitations to all my business plan templates. You do need Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel in order to make edits. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns before you purchase a business plan template, be delighted to have a great conversation with you. My contact information is right here. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. We can have a great conversation. However, after you purchase my template, then I do not offer free phone support. If you want me to help you fill out that template, I do charge for the service. The service is there, it's mentoring, um, but I, like I said, I do charge for it. And then finally, if you do want to buy my business plan templates or check out the various templates that I have, the um, link is right here. And then finally, if you don't want to mess around business plan templates, you don't want to mess around with tutorials, you just want a professional to write your business plan for you, or you just want a, a professional to do your financial projections, I would be delighted to do so. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, or visit my prices page right here. And then finally, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, go out, make a little bit of money, and have a great day. Thank you.